In this video, I'm going to provide an overview on views and how a user can add fields and values to views, as well as how they can change views to display information that they want to display that might be different than what the system view provides. So as an overview on views, there are three different types of views. We have a grid view. That's what this view is here, where you have multiple records uh, for one object. The user can change which fields appear here as they need to. That's the grid view. The create view is when you create a record. So these, fi these fields and the appearance of this view can be modified as well. And then we have a task view, which is what a user would see after the record is created. So to get to the views, if I go to Solution Configuration Views, then I can get a listing of all the views within Open Pages. And this is available for administrators. So here you can see I have a search for event, and I'm seeing every uh, view where event is the object type. And so for BC events, you can see that we have three different views. The view I want to change is the task view. So with system views, a user cannot modify this view, but we can copy the information from this view and create our own view. And that's what we, what we recommend clients do. So here I have the JSON. I can copy this and then I can add a new view of my own. So I add my view. It is the business continuity um, event, BC event right here. We're going to call it BC event demo. And then our three different types, we're going to do a task view. I can add a description. and then I can add it. Now if I go back to my view screen, you'll see that it appears here. Um, <clears throat> so then we have different selections available here. We have published, enabled, default, system. We also have a priority. So I can select uh, different views having a different priority based on profile or based on um, values within the record. And in order to do that, I can <clears throat> go to this screen and create rules. So here I have uh, I have it as priority one for all profiles, <clears throat> but I could make that uh, for a particular profile. So if I wanted to make it make this the priority for one profile but have a different priority for a different profile, I can do that here. Uh, I can also create uh, a user rule. So if um, one of these user fields is selected and it matches my user, then I can have a field or I could have a view available for that person. Uh, or I can have feel or I can have views that are available for a certain for a, for a status or any other uh, field that has has values, enumerated values related to it. So if I wanted, a different view for status, I could equals anticipated, we could have a different view for that, and we can have multiple views for the same object or, uh, based on what the value is for a particular field. So it allows for quite a bit of flexibil flexibility. So I'm going to use this as my default view just for simplicity, and then you'll see that now this is the default, and it is the first priority the one that was previously in existence is no longer the default. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to add, and I added my JSON, so that's good. And then these are all the fields that were available in that original view that I can, I can change through the UI. So uh, we can change the Field labels. We can change the ordering as it appears through drag and drop, like that. We can add additional sections, like this. Uh, and then if I wanted to add a field here, 
I can add this field like that. Uh, so there's a lot of flexibility in what you can do on these views and how you can have them appear. Uh, the other thing is that we can uh, add relationship fields. So if I wanted to add a, a new grid view for an association, I can pick a child and I'll have, I'll just have issue here. So I can call this issue. Um, then I can, I can add a new issue by selecting this and then label this add issue. And say if I want it to appear as a new tab or in the sidebar when I add it, I can add that. Or I could also add an association. So I'll say select issue for an existing record to associate to. And then I can also change the fields that I want to appear on the grid view. So I can add that um, here. So I'll have uh, due date. Okay, and I can click done. And you can see it's been added. So then I can publish this. And now this will be the view. So if I go over to the event, and I open this up, you'll see that now I have my new section, I have my new issue here, so then if I wanted to change any of this, let's say I don't want this information to, I want this to collapse, so I can click on this, say initially collapse yes, and maybe I want to move it underneath my new demo section or related objects, I can do that. And then once I publish that, if I go back to this record again, you'll see that it's, it'll be updated once I refresh it. So here, that section is now down here that I moved. I can open it like that. So really the best way to understand views and to uh, understand all the capabilities and what you can display is really by is getting in here and using it, but um, there's a lot of flexibility in what you can do and how you can have different information appear. We can even add inline guidance, uh, so you can provide specific instructions for particular fields through inline guidance. We can have multiple columns uh, for uh, fields to appear within a section, um, and then we can have relationship fields appear as a card view, as a chart, so you can have graphs in this, or just a simple count, or the tree view, which we typically have had in these uh, BC uh, records out of the box. So that's how you can change the view. Now, if I wanted to add a field, that requires me to go to the standard UI, which I'm doing here. So several releases ago, we started changing the UI for open pages. This is the old UI, so we're still transferring over certain capabilities from the standard UI over to the, the new UI, which we call the task focus UI. And here, if you see, we have field groups. And we, when we add fields, we have a field group, and then we have the fields within that group, and then we can have the values within that field. So we have a field group for uh, BCM event right here. I'm going to click on that and here are the different fields we have that are unique for this object of um, BCM event. I'm going to add a new field. We're going to call it demo and we're going to say it's an enumerated string. I'm going to create that and then I'm going to add values. So we're going to say value one, value two. I'm going to add that and I'm going to hit create. And I have to switch over into system admin mode in order to save that. So I'm going to create that. So that created the field 
demo. And then if I go to my profile, I need to add this field to the profile, BCM master, because that's the profile that I'm under right now. So if I hit include, actually I gotta go to my event. So I have a hit on the, I click on the object. Then I click include, and then I'll have my field, my new one called demo. I'm going to include that. And so now if I go back to the task focus UI, which I can do through this, and if I go onto my view again, my view designer, I now have that field I just created called demo right here. So I want to put that into my new demo section and there's other, so I can add, a, I can add uh, colors, assign colors to the values. I can make it read only or I can make it a required field so I won't be able to save until I uh, made a selection for demo. And then I can add rules so I can make it visible based on another value in another field or for a particular user, um, I can hide it, I can make it editable for certain users, or I can make it read-only based on uh, some other uh, value within the record. So I hit done there. If I publish this now, oh, I forgot to get out of system admin mode. So I'm going to do that. Now if I publish, it's been published, and if I go to this record, you see, oh, there it is. There's my field. I select my value, value 1, and now I have my new field in my view. The other thing uh, to note is that you can assign certain views for certain stages within a workflow, which I can address in the video on workflow. But that's a general overview on how a user can change views through the view designer and how they can add fields to those views. And one other thing to know is when I add the demo field here, that will also become available within the workflow designer as well. So if you wanted to construct rules within your workflow uh, based on that new field, that gets brought into the workflow automatically when you add it to the view. Thank you.